Mission Rescue crews working around the clock this Labor Day weekend. Mountain rescues taking center stage as people head to the hills to beat the record heat. New specialist Debbie Worthen joins us live from the Cottonwood Canyons tonight with an exclusive look at rescuers reaching a hiker that fell 60 feet. And that's just one from today. Debbie, how many rescuers are we talking about here? Well, Ashley, we're talking at least a dozen and four of those just today in the mountains east of Salt Lake City. And what we know is sadly, not all of those survived the accidents this weekend in the backcountry. It's just so beautiful up here. Utahns escaping the valley heat. You've got the mountains over here. For a quick hike. High mountains and Uintas. Or some quick pictures. And birthday pictures for him. But this weekend, Utah's high country. I witnessed that actually, yeah has proven to be deadly. There have been four call outs today. Over and over again, life-saving efforts caught by Chopper 5 after a 22-year-old man reportedly fell in Neff's Canyon. He didn't survive. Today with what's been going on. Detective Arlen Bennett says crews train year round for conditions like this. They try to prepare for whatever gets thrown at them and they've done a great job. I was up on Catherine's Pass when the helicopter came down and landed on the lake. Tyler Brown just moved to Utah. Kind of up in that gully. He watched as a medical helicopter tried to rescue a 60 year old man who fell 60 feet by Lake Catherine. There were quite a few people. Um, as, as soon as the helicopter was down, they were corralled kind of around it. And then uh, as they shut the doors, everybody kind of ran away. In Utah County, crews confirm 45-year-old Thomas Raw from Alpine died while hiking in American Fort Canyon over the weekend. This call, one of eight over the holiday. As people escape the heat, experts say many accidents happen from lack of preparation. They say get out, enjoy the outdoors, but do so carefully. It's been so hot lately. We just wanted to be someplace where the air felt fresh and cool and clean. Well, we expect, expect to have a full number of the rescue operations sometime later tomorrow.